Okay, so maybe you're thinking about your next getaway. I'll tell you, one of the things I really enjoy about visiting someplace new is often finding delicious new places to eat. In fact, I mm -hmm. sometimes find that getting a unique meal at a restaurant or a dessert can be one of the most memorable parts of an entire vacation. Yeah, it's so true. And when we travel, we usually try new restaurants. I know we're quite the foodies. <laughs> so that usually exposes us to new flavors and ideas about food and reflecting on a particular destination. If you're thinking about heading north, you need to visit downtown Traverse City. There's a big farm to table movement there, and there really is something for everyone. Today, we're taking you inside a place that locals and visitors just can't stop raving about. Traverse City, there is no shortage of wonderful places where you can eat. We're going to take you inside a unique place that's a fusion of authentic Asian and Latin cuisine, Georgina's. We are here with Tony, the owner and chef. How do you describe the unique food that you have here? It starts with my family. I'm Cuban and Chinese, and that's in essence what I serve, is a fusion of Latin and Asian authentic food. Here we have our homemade dumplings, our Asian tuna, our tostones relleno filled with Cuban pork, and then we have our all around the world tacos, which consists of Nicaraguan pork, which is marinated with achote. We have just an array of food, all based upon all my cultures. And your menu is really large. We had the opportunity to sit down and try some of these dishes. It was simply amazing, Tony. You're doing something really special here. No, thank you. Um, I'm doing something that I was blessed with, and all this comes from the aspect of just being different, my culture. And I expose people, not to one of my cultures, but to all of my cultures. And that's yeah. what I bring, by exposing them to true Chinese food, true Nicaraguan food, and my friends being Puerto Rican and Cuban in Chilean, so I bring a little bit of everything to make sure that I'm not homesick and I love this. <laughs> you were here in downtown Traverse City, and I know this is a great destination for food and wine and craft beer, but it's really become an experience for anybody that comes to this area. You can really do a lot by coming to this spot. It really is. Now you just don't come out to eat. You come out for a dining out and experience all night. You come out to have dinner somewhere, then dessert somewhere else, then you go watch live music, then you end up at a place like Kilkenny's enjoying the late hours. Everything is here, breweries, wineries, everything, all within the walking distance of the bay, of open space, state theater, so why not come down? Yeah, it's wonderful. This time of year is a really wonderful time of year. It's spring, but also the fall, because it can get a little bit busy here in the summertime can kind of beat the crowds. Yeah, you really can. And, and you get the best of all worlds, all with great weather. And you get to do it quickly. You know, you don't have to sit there and wonder, is it going to be busy over there or not? You come, even if there's a little bit of a line or a wait, you, you can experience the weather. It's beautiful, everything. So this is the best time of year. Yeah, that's wonderful. We want to thank you so much for letting us experience your wonderful food and for having us here at Georgina. Thank you for having me. We are here in downtown Traverse City. Check it out. Yum. Wow, I'm, so hungry. I'm so hungry. You know, I can't stop talking about this place, so I know I'm really glad that everybody could finally see it. It's a place where you look at the menu and everything sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. It's really a place that I think most people would enjoy. It's so different, but it's it's not so different. I mean, it, it's tacos and it's a lot of that familiar food, but done differently. And it's no surprise that Traverse City has an international reputation for food and drink. For two years in a row, Midwest Living has listed Traverse City among its five top food towns. Not bad, huh? Right, exactly. And Bon Appetit has listed it as one of America's top five foodie towns. The downtown area has an eclectic mix of restaurants. Of course, we're talking about everything from sushi to uh, those exotic uh, wraps that you were showing us. Also, French cuisine, mm -hmm. soups made from scratch, and hearty sandwiches as well. In fact, the area makes a great place to stroll around, and they even have some uh, terrific entertainment options you can enjoy. Yeah, and you can learn more about the fantastic food scene downtown and the surrounding areas by heading online. There are some magnificent restaurants surrounding the Traverse City wineries as well.
just head to TraverseCity.com. In addition to food, you can learn about hotels, special events, like the upcoming Asparagus Festival in May, and outdoor recreation opportunities like bike races, water sports, golf, and well, so much more. Mm -hmm. The list goes on and it on. Does. And while we were downtown, we discovered another really cool business. This one may sound familiar to some people. There are four locations of Cherry Republic throughout the state. And tomorrow we're taking you inside the one in downtown Traverse City. The star of this store is no secret because inside <laughs> you'll find more than 200 cherry products, including this pizza. And this particular store in downtown Traverse City was recently remodeled. So they expanded the store. They added a cafe where they can serve things like pizza and other items that have cherries in them. You know, savory and sweet. Uh, there's also a tasting bar serving wine and soda, a bakery, and freshly made mm. ice cream featuring cherries as well. Rachel, I have to tell you, this is my one of my absolute <laughs> favorite places in Traverse City. Well, I usually, if I go out of town, I feel an obligation to bring something home to the family. Yeah. And so this is where I actually got my gifts to bring back and everybody loved yeah. the food that they got. That is terrific. You know, Republic. And you you love food so much I that do. when you're recommending <laughs> a, a restaurant with such enthusiasm, like when you came back, I, I almost have never seen you so over the top raving about a brand yeah. new place you have discovered. Yeah, I think because it's uniquely different, but it's not so off the mark that right. it's not something that most people would like. Most people yeah. would like it. And it's so fresh and the prices are great for what they're doing. It's really great. You should yeah. put it on the list. Well, so I it's know. It's a place to see and a place to go. Mm -hmm. I have a trip to Traverse City, a golf trip planned there you go. in June you with my family. Absolutely. So I'm going to have to leave the golf behind and <laughs> check out all the other stuff. It can be your reward <laughs> after a long there day. There you go. Camping. All right. Maybe <laughs> and I'll then stroll and do some other things <laughs> downtown. Tasting. That sounds fantastic. Put <laughs> yeah. it all. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, for those who are planning a short trip to the yard to do some garden soon. Stick around. We'll be back with some advice you won't want to miss right after this break. Your all-access pass to everything West Michigan.